Hello and welcome. I'm Nick Norman, Systems Engineer with OneConfig. Our platform provides a comprehensive cloud-based management for Junos devices. The platform has been embraced by everyone from small and medium enterprises, retail, state and local government, as well as educational institutions. SD-WAN orchestration will be added to the platform soon, and we are going to talk about how that works today. With this addition, we are expanding OneConfig's management capabilities in a way that's easy and cost-effective. First, we define our SD-WAN service. We select an existing SRX or VSRX already managed by OneConfig as our hub device. We check and update IP details for things like local subnet and WAN IPs to terminate secure tunnels. Next, we create our branch. This device needs to be a factory fresh, cloud ready SRX. Cloud ready just means that it's enabled for ZTP, zero touch provisioning. We input the serial number from that branch SRX as well as check site details and update them as needed. DHCP can be used or not used on the WAN or LAN interfaces. Input our applications and application groups that we wish to perform per interface routing to. This can be over the secure tunnels back to the hub device or using local internet breakout. Plug your SRX into the network and click Save to initiate deployment. During the deployment phase, OneConfig takes over and runs on autopilot. You can check the status of deployment on the SD-WAN services page. The first thing that is happening is the branch device is coming online in OneConfig using ZTP. Next, OneConfig instructs the device to add its app ID license from the Juniper Entitlement Server, and then we auto-install the app ID database. The hub and branch devices apply their updated configurations based on the details provided. OneConfig now confirms VPNs are established and working. At this point, we have completed our new branch deployment. We now have app iRouting enabled along with link monitoring. This gives us automatic failover and failback for local internet traffic as well as traffic sent across the secure IPsec tunnels back to the hub device. Ongoing visibility and control is performed via a new SD-WAN management interface. Let's go through that interface here now. Here we're on the main OneConfig interface page. We're going to navigate over to Devices and show our SRX 300. That is our head office corporate site. It's an already existing device managed by OneConfig. Here we're going to go into the new SD-WAN service creation page. We have our already existing SRX 300 device that we're using there as our hub. That can be any device, SRX, VSRX managed by OneConfig already. We've Im imported the hub subnets automatically here. We can add other additional ones or you know check those there at our primary, secondary IPsec interface. Now that we have our service created, we'd like to add a factory defaulted SRX device as a new branch. Here we have our device serial number that we've inputted, our device name, whether it's an existing site or we're going to create a new site. In this instance, it's an existing site, so we're going to add that in. We're going to enable DHCP on the local LAN. And here under our primary WAN interface, we've selected that, added our gateway information. We've got our WAN applications and VPN applications where we want to send Outlook uh, across the tunnel back to corporate. And then our secondary interface at this site is going to be a DL LTE interface 4G. We want to send FTP across that for as an example. Once we're set, we can also um, do those applications later. Once we're set here, we'll, we'll click Save. At this point, we've got that uh, net new factory default device that's um, phoning home using zero touch provisioning. We've got our kind of radio buttons here showing the status, uh, all the different steps along the way. So that, that device is plugged in. It's now going to make a connection outbound um, either over the 4G or over that uh, gigabit Ethernet zero using the uh, ISP that's at that site. Uh, it's connected and we need to authorize it. And now we're stepping through all those different, different steps there. So as the device progresses through here, uh, ZTP and processing licenses. Um, you know, I just want to touch on those um, application steering in the in the previous screen, right? We can send you know internet type traffic out one link, uh, so Spotify out one link, and and, and um, something like Netflix or something out the other link, as well as send Exchange or something in house and SIP over across those IPsec tunnels. Uh, makes that um, that process you know, much simpler to be able to, to steer those apps. And, and, and what's going on here, you know, as we're progressing through here, we've orchestrated all those, the, you know, the data that we've collected when we create the branch, 
as well as things that uh, the device needs. So it needs to have those licenses and it needs to process app signatures and download the databases. Uh, so all that's orchestrated together here and, and done um, for us automatically as part of the process. And then, um, yeah, here we're applying the final configuration, which, um, which will take us to a, you know, a working device state. And then we're gonna check the VPN tunnels uh, status here uh, after this is done. And, and part of this as well is there's some smarts that's uh, included as, as part of this configuration with automatic failover and all about automatic fail back. So, you know, that information that we know about the device, it's gateway, and those things are used to build auto, uh, probes automatically. So then we can monitor the status of those probes. And if they fail, we can, you know, cause that traffic to fail over and fail back automatically. Just refresh our screen here. See that device transition from an offline to an online state. Now we completed the deployment process of that new branch, that factory default device. Let's go into its configuration. So here we've got our new SD-WAN overview for our device, our branch device here. Uh, the status of those links, you know, the green, the green physical port being up, uh, links that are in use. We've got those tunnels, ST0 and ST1 uh, up and established. And then we, we can show that MPIM card for 4G LTE there, the status of that. Our connected clients, uh, the information will populate and the site switches that could be a virtual chassis or a bunch of switches at the site that'll, that'll start to show up here, uh, whatever it may be. And then we've got our branch details along the side, primary, secondary VPN interfaces. If you're interested in joining our SD-WAN beta program, please register at oneconfig.com slash SD-WAN. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for your time.